I am what they would call a church kid. The sanctuary is where I grew. It was all I ever really knew. Went to at least four services a week. Got very familiar with the pews. It's true that I know every lyric to every song. I know my rights from my wrongs. I know that God has loved me all along, that his power is strong, and that with him is where I belong. I know almost every Bible verse. I could quote scripture after scripture until my head hurts. Yeah, I've been immersed into church. I asked Jesus into my heart at the tender age of five, but after many years of routine, my spirit was simply struggling to survive. Now, of course, I've never done drugs. I've never smoked or toked or tried to be a thug. Alcohol isn't much of a temptation either. To me, parties is birthday cakes and pony hats, not drinking strange liquid that makes you act whack. So yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. In fact, that whole style of living doesn't seem too appealing to me. But you see, the enemy has a very strong will and he will try everything he can to stop me from following God's plan. So here I stand as a church kid. Not really interested in all of these taboo things. No, I'm not tempted by all these stereotypical sins. From the outside looking in, I bet you I look great. I probably look happy, but it turns out it's actually fake, you see. As a church kid, I've gotten really good at smiling. This smile hides everything going on inside because it's a disguise. My pastor asks me how I'm doing. I say good, but it's all lies. I try to measure up, but I feel it's never enough. Now I'm stuck in the rut of religion, getting crushed under the weight of my own sin. When temptation comes my way, it's like I always give in. Yeah, I struggle. I struggle a lot, but my struggle is not what you may have thought it to be. You see, as a church kid, my struggle is apathy. This apathy is rapidly taking out every part of me. Like, why should I care about my purity when I can be addicted to pornography? I mean, in all honesty, why wouldn't I want to be constantly watching naked girls? It's not like my relationship with God is more important than satisfying myself with a 2D image on a screen, right? Wrong. You see, I've been infected. This apathy has burrowed its way inside of me and it's given me heart disease. You see, it's taken the desire and it's been dousing out the fire. And I don't care that I'm apathetic. It's pathetic, I know, but I just don't care. I don't care that every day I continually fall. I don't care that in my faith I have hit a wall. I don't care that I don't care at all. And it's going to take more than an altar call for this to change. I need a genuine encounter with Jesus for my life to be rearranged. It's strange, but maybe that's the problem. I grew up in church, but somewhere I missed the relationship. I mean, it's very apparent I've been living off my parents' faith. I've been standing on the sidelines watching them run their race. Maybe it's time for me to start a race of my own and start to own my own faith. I mean, my future does depend on it, right? At least, that's what they tell me in church. That God's called me to an amazing destiny and that He sees greatness and success in me. I guess I gotta give God the rest of me if I wanna be set free from this apathy. And I do. It may not look like it, but it's true, so please, hear my plea. I know I always sit in the back and I won't raise my hands in worship and that I always have my phone out texting in the service, but would you please do me a service? Love me, don't judge me. Encourage me, don't discourage me. Pray for me, reach out. Show me that you actually care about the affairs of my life. Give me advice, show me what's right, pour into my life, please point me towards Christ. I know it may sound like I'm asking a lot, but the truth is, the effort is worth it when you see the person of Jesus transform the life of a church kid.